Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Cody Alcorn. Hope you're having a great afternoon so far. It's been a beautiful one for sure. Talking about the weather, we'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent in just a moment. But we continue to follow a breaking news story out of Western North Carolina, where Hendersonville police say a 12 year old shot another 12 year old at the Hendersonville Middle School. Uh, we have been covering this since about 845 this morning. We first got word. Uh, this is a look at the scene as the school went on on lockdown uh, shortly after that shooting. Now, Hendersonville police say that a 12 year old boy shot another 12 year old girl uh, there. She was taken to Mission Hospital. She was shot in the leg and at last check she was in stable condition. As far as what led up to this shooting, that is still being investigated. Uh, all classes were canceled there at Hendersonville Middle School. Of course, a lot of parents upset as they were standing there dropping their children off when literally every officer, sheriff's deputy, highway patrolman in that area responded to Hendersonville, Hendersonville Middle School this morning for that shooting. A school administrator took that student into custody immediately following that shooting. So thankfully that was resolved quickly and not more students were shot. Uh, as far as again, what led up to this, that is still under investigation, but we do know the 12 year old boy is in police custody and that 12 year old female victim is at Mission Hospital. And again, that uh, investigation continues to be underway right now. Carrie Weimer is up there for us. We'll have live reports coming up at 4 and 5 and have continuing coverage at 6 and tonight at 10 and 11. Uh, also, an update to a couple of armed robberies we've been talking about. It happened in Pickens County. These two individuals are now accused. There they are during the robbery at the Sphinx there on Calhoun Memorial Highway in Easley. The Pickens County Sheriff's Office has identified these two and here they are. Uh, that is a look at Sherrod Lukel Jackson and Casey Avante Blue. Now this guy right here, you see him with that dark brown hoodie. We've seen another suspect like this in Greenville County and in the city during armed robberies there with a similar jacket and the Pickens County Sheriff's Office says they are working with those agencies to see if in fact that was Sherrod Jackson involved in those armed robberies. But at least for the Pickens County armed robbery here, they have been charged and locked up uh, with that uh, crime spree that they did there. And of course, we're also following a couple of other stories real fast here. COVID-19 numbers put out for South Carolina. Another day we've seen numbers top 1,000. And we just watched the Greenville County Sheriff's Office announce a cold case a homicide arrest from 2015. We'll have much more on that coming up at 4, 5, and 6. And of course, everything you need to know about You Decide 2020 right here at foxcarolina.com. But we're doing it bring in Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent because it is a very nice afternoon. Kendra, yeah. after a cold start to the day, and what, we're just a couple of days away from Thanksgiving. I know it, and it'll actually warm up as we get closer to Thanksgiving. But until then, we're going to have to deal with some clouds and even showers on Wednesday. This evening, though, looks nice and dry, partly cloudy and dropping into the 40s by 7 o'clock this evening, 30s by later on tonight, with clouds uh, really sticking around, kind of thickening up into the overnight hours, then some showers possible early in the morning. In the mountains, clouds building in throughout the overnight. So showers expected for Wednesday, milder by Thanksgiving and Friday as the rain moves out. And then we'll have another dose of rain by Saturday, and that's ahead of another rain chance for late Sunday into Monday. So kind of an active pattern setting up for us. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news as well as at 4, 5, 6, 10, and 11, and download our Fox Carolina app.